I'm Trevor, the CEO of the same foundation. The donation we received from Intubase helped us in procuring vital life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you'd like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn. Race four on the card, set to go off at 10 past two. It's a Phillies and Mares 85 handicap due to go over 1,900 meters. At the time of the recording, there is one scratching. The six horse Jacqueline comes out, but do check your scratchings before race time. Warren, at first glance, I thought it was a competitive race, but when I studied the form, I thought maybe two horses could set the standard in this race. The one horse, Top Me Up Holly, and the eight horse, More Than A Dime, they could possibly be the two horses in the race. But what do you make of it? Uh, do you think it's a field race? You know, now that there's only seven runners, a lot of these horses have got chances. I'm not going to put the field in. I'm going to try and narrow it down a bit because I've taken the field in the previous race. Starting off with Top Me Up Holly, Jockey and horse statistic, one ride, one winner. Jockey and trainer statistic, 14 rides, one winner, six places. So Rachel Vinegar and Alison Wright and Top Me Up Holly, that's a, good, that's a good relationship between the three. Gate one, the way that she won last time, Top Me Up Holly, no doubt she sets the standard. I do quite like number three, Aquasulis. Now let me tell you why. Diego Digavea gets the ride for the first time. And since relocating to the Ashburton yard of Duncan Howells, this mare's done very well. Certainly nothing wrong with, uh, you know, she's won races and done well with, this, with the Miller team. And just sometimes a change of scenery, change of routine helps. And it's clearly helped this mare. Her last run, she raced from off the pace and ran fourth to top me up Holly. She normally doesn't race from off the pace. I think if she goes handier this time, she's going to be a big, big runner, this horse Aquasutus. Her overall form is good, and for me, she's the one that they all have to beat. But again, not a confident selection. She's my narrow first choice. Eight more than a dime, solid form. 54 and a half kilograms on her back. She doesn't know how to run a bad race. It's very seldom that she runs a bad race. Integrity number seven, Wendy Whitehead's horse, holding her form. She's done very well since relocating from the high felt to Mike de Kock, from Mike de Kock down to Wendy Whitehead here in KwaZulu Natal. There's another example of a horse that's changed environment, changed training center, and uh, has really thrived. So, Rahil, yeah, there's quite a few in with chances, but I I'm going to go light. I'm going to go one. Uh, top me up Holly, f uh, three Aquasulis and eight more than a dime for my pick six, but my narrow first choice is Aquasulis. I'm glad you mentioned and made a case for Aquasulis last time out. I think with the weights on her back, 61 and a half, they opted to give her a chance more than taking her up handy. And uh, she didn't run a bad race beaten fought by Top Me Up Holly, but I definitely think with 59 and a half, while drawing the gate three, I think she's going to go a lot handier and definitely a horse to keep a close eye on. Has won three times at the course. The one horse topped me up, Holly. Now, she won really easily, easy last time out. It was a good ride from Keegan Mello. She won from the front, beating Integrity. She received six points for that win. But I think it's very smart that they put uh, Rachel Venica aboard. She claims two and a half, so sort of negates that six-point penalty. While drawn in gate one, you mentioned Rachel Venica does get on well with Top me up, Holly. And definitely, I think that Top me up, Holly is going to be right there at the finish. The eight horse, more than a dime. I just feel that with 54 and a half on her back, the race is going to be run to suit. There does seem to be quite a bit of pace in the race, so she's the type of mare that likes to run on at the end. And with such a lightweight, I think that she's going to be doing her best work at the finish. So I'm going to go for the eight horse more than a dime and the one horse top me up, Holly, followed by the three Aqua Sulis and then the five horse Silver Maria in my pick six. Before we wrap up the fourth race, Muzi Yeni last time rode Maria Carolina to finish fifth behind Bella Sacombe. And he also rode All Aglow last time to run third to Time to Roll. He's clearly chosen All Aglow. You read anything into that? I don't read much into that. I think 
maybe you just feel all the glow is a better horse but i think that uh, all the glow will be more suited to the 1900 meter trip than maria carolina but i think more for place chance for both of them okay my numbers three one eight and Raheel's numbers for race four, eight, one, three, and five.